and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you make a digital clock using Arduino, LCD display and the Python. So there is not shuru kara jak. Sorry, I mean, let's get started. So for this project, we need one Arduino, one LCD display, one breadboard, one potency meter and some jumper air. So in this case, I am using male to female and the female to male jumper air. So now let's talk about how can actually connect the LCD display on our Arduino board. So the LCD display you're going to use cost 16 cross 2. The 16 cross 2 LCD means it can display 16 character per line and there are two such lines. That's mean this is nothing but a matrix with 16 cross 2. Okay, so now let's talk about how can actually connect them on the Arduino board to our LCD display. So first pin, it's the G and D, it's also called the BSS pin. So we need to connect them this BSS pin on our ground of the Arduino board. And the second pin is BCC pin. And this pin we need to connect them on the 5 board on our Arduino board. And the number 3 is the call the contrast pin. It's also called the B0 pin. So we need to connect them to the contrast pin on our potentiometer. And the fourth one is called the RS pin. It's also called the resistor select pin. So we need to connect them on our digital input and output pin on our Arduino board. And the fifth one is called the RW, that's mean read and write pin. So you need to connect them on our ground of the Arduino board. Now the sixth one is called the E and pin. So you need to just connect them on our digital input and output pin. On. So now D0 to D7, this is nothing but called the data pin. So for the 4 to 7, we need to connect them and the D0, D1, D2 and D3, we don't need to connect them. So D4, D5, D6 and D7. We need to connect them on the digital input and output pin on our Arduino board. And last two one, it's called the backlight positive and the backlight negative. And the positive next means this is nothing but the anode pin. And the last one is the backlight uh, negative. That's when this one is called the cathode pin. So it will actually help us to enable the light behind the LCD display. So now let's have a look how can we connect them on our Arduino board in life. So I already connect this out on the Arduino board to the LCD display. So you can see here, this is nothing but the LCD display with 16 cross 2. And you can see here, this is nothing but the potentiometer. Okay, the breadboard and the Arduino, you know. Okay, so now let's have a look how can we actually connect them. Okay, so this is nothing but the first pin. You can see here, this is the green one. And it will actually uh, paint on the ground. You can see a ground. And now you can see here uh, in this pin on the Arduino board, you can see here I am connecting the ground and the pipe board. Okay, this is nothing but the ground and the pipe board. This is the ground and this is the pipe board. So the pin number is ground is coming from here. This ground on the breadboard. Okay, you can see here breadboard. So this is nothing but the ground pin and this is nothing but the pipe board pin. So the pin, you can see here the green one is the first one on here. Okay. The LCD display is the, the, the past one pin. So you're going to connect them this green one on the ground. Okay, see ground. And the number five is also be ground here. Okay. So number five is nothing but one, two, three, four, and the five. That's mean E1. So you can see here five one. So it's also connected on the ground. That's mean the green and the E1 is connected on the ground. So now let's see the number three pin. So the pin number is nothing but the black. So you can see this is the black pin. It actually connected on the contrast pin here. Okay, so see contrast pin. This is nothing but the contrast pin on here. This is the positive pin. That's mean uh, right one. And this is nothing but the potentiometer. Okay. And now you can see this is the nothing but the pin of the uh, five volt and the ground. So see, I'm connecting this on the five volt. This is, my, this is nothing but the five volt. And this is nothing but the ground. Okay, see, this is nothing but the ground. Okay, so we are actually connecting the contrast pin on here. So number four and number six, see, one, two, three, and the four. And number four pin is actually connected on the digital input and the output pin on here. That's been on the five volt. Simple, okay, this one, this one is connected on here. Okay, see, this is the pin is nothing but the four and number six pin, see, this one is the four and the number six. See, this number is actually connected on the five and the number six. Okay, this one. That's been number four and the number six. And now this pin is nothing for the data pin. 
okay see data pin from the here and you can see expect him d0 d1 d2 d3 and okay these are nothing but the four pin we not actually connected that's mean d4 to d7 d4 uh, d5 d6, uh, d6 and the d7 these are the pin we actually connected on the Arduino board to the here that's pin number uh, 5 and the 6 is connected on the pin number 4 and 6 and this one is the 7, 8, 9 and the 10 okay so now you can see here this is the 2 pin the anode and the cathode pin so this is nothing but the backlight positive pin so you need to connect them on our positive pin so see this is nothing but the positive pin okay and this is the ground pin so that's how you're going to connect them on the ground pin here the blue one so this is the connection okay so now let's jump on the code and see how can we actually uh, build this digital clock. Keep your hand dirty and jump on the code. But before jumping on the code, you need to do some initialization. So first thing first, you need to install Python on your local machines. And second one, you need to install an Arduino ID. And third one, you need to install a Python library called PyFirmata. So we need to actually upload some code on the Arduino board. So that's why you need to go on our Arduino ID. So I already do the code before and you don't need to actually understand this code and very briefly because I already actually upload this code on the GitHub and you can also grab it from here. But you need to also do something and uh, see what is actually happening on this code. So just see, we first include the liquid crystal.h. This hidden file is actually only for the LCD. Okay. And you can see here, you actually include one by firmata, that's in firmata.h. This is header file is actually connected on our Arduino board to our Python. Okay, the firmata. So then we initialize the liquid crystal at the LCD, and that these are nothing but the pin number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 10. So don't worry on that. I'll be actually upload this code on the GitHub. Just you need to actually copy the code and paste and upload on our Arduino board. So you can also see here LCD.sat cursor. The sad cursor is nothing but for the matrices. That's mean what the cursor of the LCD display. That's mean you can see here this is nothing but the cursor. Okay, so for the Arduino board, this is nothing but the 16 cross 2 Arduino board. So we need to actually set the cursor. That's mean 0 and the 1. This is X and the Y coordinate. You can also call the row and the column. That's mean you actually uh, initialize the cursor on the first row. So then we need to actually begin the LCD display. That's why you, you can see here 16, uh, comma 2. This is nothing but the LCD display size and you can see one important thing, this is nothing but the string data. We are actually passing on the LCD display. This one. Okay, so don't worry about that. Actually port all the code on the GitHub link and there should be a password also. And I will talk about on this password on the middle of the video, maybe on the thumb here. So now let's jump on the Python code and see how can you actually connect them this Firmata code on here. But before jumping on the code, you need to actually upload this code on our Arduino board. So now let's connect the Arduino board here. I think now you can hear one sound to actually connect them. And you can see your Arduino Inu on COM5. This is nothing but my port number. And now you need to actually click on here to upload the code. So now you can see you're compiling the sketch and it will upload it and it will take few seconds to actually upload the code on the Arduino board. So now our code uploading is done. So now we need to jump on our Python ID. So now you can see here one folder called Arduino controller. If I click here and inside you can see here one Arduino file we actually do before. So I'm going to click here to new create Python file. So main.py. So now we need to install a library called pyfirmata. So just open your command prompt here and type here pip install pyfirmata. So I'm not going to install this again because I already installed this library before. Let me click here to close that. So now I'm going to import from pyfirmata. I'm going to import the Arduino, Arduino, and also I'm going to in, uh, import the util and also the string data. That's when the string data is coming from our Arduino file. We actually upload this file on our Arduino board already. So now we need to actually uh, set the board of the Arduino. So that's when we need to initialize a port number. So our port is nothing but our COM5 number port. Then we need to initialize the board of the Arduino. So our board is nothing but the Arduino and it will take the parameter of the port. Okay. Now 
what we have to do we need to actually set the string data which will actually pass from our these functions that's in this file so that's in board dot okay this board dot send s y e x okay this is nothing but a byte it should be a text here okay so you're going to pass one text then you need to pass the time so that's why you need to uh, actually import the time module on the python file but let's have a look how we can actually uh, import one text here okay so that's why you need to actually import one text file and this is nothing but our string data then we need to actually use the utils here to actually get the byte format of the text that's when it's here two byte iterations that's an iter now it will take one string so we can initialize the string here so let's say uh, data let's say uh, digital clock digital clock like that okay sorry clock so this is the data we are going to pass here this data so when we actually run the code it will actually show the digital clock so now let's have a look and run it out now you can see here all lc display is right now empty how you actually run the code and you can see here one thing that is a digital clock okay just a while okay you can see a digital clock and our code is running correctly and you can see here this is nothing but our dinner board so now let's actually uh, set the time module on here so now it's time to actually set the time so for that i'm going to import from time i'm going to import the strf time okay so now we need to actually uh, make this time okay so let's create a variable for time so let's say string equal uh time okay not time we actually import this is to your rf time and the format of the time so for this you can use a 24 hour so in this case i am using 12 hour okay that's when you need to uh, put here uh, percentage i this i is nothing but only for the what do you call for the 12 hour time if you put here is it will show you the 24 hour times okay colons and the minutes okay and you need to also put here the m then you need to put here uh the seconds and then you need to put here percentage p that's in pm or m okay now you need to actually iterate through this uh, time in infinite time and you need to break this time uh, after one second so let's have a look how can you do that so while true okay and pass this on here this one and the this one okay it's true then we need to pass this data on this board okay so let's cut it out from here cut and paste it on here and copy this string and paste on here and after that we need to put your time dot slip for after one second it will flip this time that's mean this will infinite time so import time also okay so now let's have a look how can we actually uh, do that and how, how actually our code is run so now you can see here just digital uh, clock so how can you actually run the code on the terminal and it will take an invisible few seconds and it will actually load them time yeah right now you can see here time okay time is up and down okay see the code is running in infinite time and the time is here okay so now we need to actually set the digital clock on the cursor because we are using 16 cross 2 okay so let's see how can you actually do that so for this what you have to do just you need to copy this out ctrl c and paste it on here and just pass this data okay data so you need to do some uh, uh something on here that's mean we are uh, actually keep here some blank space and make it some interesting like that okay blank like that okay save it and run the code and see uh, actual output is uh, like what kind of like so now you can see here our code is actually work fine you can actually use this potency meter to make the uh, contrast here you can see how you can actually uh, do the change of the contrast and it will change this okay use this potency meter 
so now you can actually make this out for the 24 hour so why you actually change this one uh, to the i to the h then you can see here this uh, caps lock and h and let's save it out and run the code again and see how can you actually uh it actually works well, first we need to actually kill this terminal and then run the code again so when you actually kill the terminal then you can see here our uh lc display is uh time is stopped now you can see here this is nothing but 158 54 but this is nothing but the 24 hour time so please use this one and see okay and comment below i uh, will it will actually work on your case or not so this is the tutorial hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update